I mean, we got to do it. We got to fucking do it to him. We have to do it to him. Okay. Okay. It's fucking time, ladies and gentlemen, boys, girls. I was born on a Dublin street where the Lyle drums did beat. The loving English feet that walked all over us. And every single night when we died. Folks, this is a story of emancipation. The neighbors out with this chorus. It's a story about freedom. It's a story about saying fuck you to the monarchs. And those loyalists. Come, let us hear you tell how you slandered great Parnell when you taught them well and truly persecuted. What are the A story about Irish unity and freedom? Let us hear when our leaders of sixteen were executed. That's right. The Red Star, thank you for the five get the subs. Wild, Wild Wills, thank you for the five get the subs. Show your wife. Come tell us how you slew them all Arabs two by two. Like the Zulus, they had spears, bow and arrows. How bravely you faced one. As a brave man once said. And you frightened them, damn natives to the marrow. Come out, shiver like in hands. As a brave man once said, Today we were unlucky, but remember, we only have to be lucky once. You will have to be lucky always. Give Ireland peace, and there will be no more war. For those of you who don't know, that inspirational quote that... Uh, that inspirational quote that uh, your boomer parents probably share is about the assassination of Margaret Thatcher. The potential assassination of Margaret Thatcher. Whose grave now is a gender neutral bathroom. Here, this is in honor of this. Not a bit of good. Not a bit. This is a Scottish woman reacting to the death of Margaret Thatcher.